All right, using a cash value life insurance policy for income, tax-free retirement income down the road, we're gonna go through some numbers here. So the main point of our last video was focusing on this, setting expectations and mostly setting them properly as far as looking at different rates, best numbers, conservative numbers, guarantees, we're gonna do that just here. So what we're going to take a look at, look at is as follows. We've got a 45-year-old male, and we're going to look at max funding a policy for seven years, funding up to the MEC line, the MEC limit on a policy, 50K per year, 45 year old male. We're gonna look at the guaranteed rates, conservative dividend, the company's present dividend rate, a moderate dividend rate, and then also an aggressive dividend rate. Now, what we're gonna focus on here is as follows, growth, what does the policy look like from an accumulation standpoint? That really has to do with the design. We go into this quite a bit as far as policy design, premium, PUA riders, MEC limit. We're not gonna cover all the details or much details at all on that, but then income. And how do I set expectations properly? Because when I look at the aggressive scenario as far as the best rates possible, I can pull out a whole lot more money than I can based off of the moderate dividend or even guarantees. So seeing that all up front helps, helps set expectations properly. This way I don't have buyer's remorse because I thought I was getting the best and it doesn't happen. Let's take a look. So what we will look at it is just the growth first. And if you'd like to see the detailed illustrations on this, um, that is in our membership program. So anyone subscribe to that. Uh, we went through the actual ledgers as far as how we designed this and such. But what we've got here, guaranteed values, conservative dividend assumption, another dividend assumption, and then aggressive, an aggressive dividend assumption. 50,000 for seven years, 45 year old male. Let's look at the growth first. So on the accumulation phase, and this is really due to the policy design, solid break even point, just about year five, I've paid in 250, I'm at 248, year six I'm positive. So strong performance. If I see that in the guarantees, the policy is designed very favorably, specifically on the guarantees. Looking at a conservative dividend rate, lower than this company's been since, I, don't know, I think 1970, but breaking even between four and five. All of these are designed in the exact same manner, and we can see that actually in the first year Cash values are all, are all identical across the board. Then break evens on the other guys, really between years three and four, but year four I'm positive there. So looks good. This is what we look at all the time, right? Just accumulation over time. Quick piece of additional information. When you look at the guarantees, why the death benefit does not increase is due to no dividends being paid. So a whole life insurance product is a guaranteed product based off their guaranteed rate of 4%. I'm going to have accumulation over time and my death benefit will not appreciate unless I add more money into PUAs or if dividends are paid. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've all been waiting for. Income, that's the name of the game for these videos. Let's fit it all to one page, there we go. So. Whenever looking at income, right, first we want to make sure the policies are all the same, which they are. We always, <laughs> we always put them side by side if you're actually looking at an option, meaning if I was looking at the basic dividend assumption, we put the growth and income side by side so I can see the direct impact. But here, I want to look at the different assumptions because that's really what's interesting here. There we go. So the aggressive on the far right, let's look at that first because this is always what's sold, and if we ran an IUL, which we don't use because I haven't seen any proof, this would more look, probably look more like 72K. IULs project beautiful values, but again, I haven't seen any proof around it, which is why we don't use them, other than hypothetical proof, which I don't really believe in that term. So, what we ran here was from age 65 Up until 95, last disbursement is at age 94, a levelized income stream. And what we were solving for here was really the maximum amount of income I could take out of a policy based on different assumptions, different rates, more or less. So based off of the 
aggressive assumption, which we go into full disclosure and detail on the membership program, 36,000 per year, I'm able to pull out versus the basic dividend, 29.5, a conservative dividend, 24,000. If I was a 45 year old male, knowing what I know, and this was my goal to put in 50 for seven years, how I would approach this from a realistic standpoint would be somewhere in between here. If it produces this, hey, that's great. Historically, it has done between this. However, we're not in the same times we were, we were when we looked at policies that lived through the 70s and 80s with double digit dividend rates. That would be great. But again, setting expectations properly, I would bank on it somewhere in between these two. I would not bank off the high numbers, that's great, but when I'm actually making the purchase, look at it more conservative. And if I wanna get up to 36 or a higher number, I may need to pay more into it. Or perhaps the life insurance product is not a fit, but it's best to know that up front as opposed to finding it about finding out after the fact. And then over here on the guarantees, 21.5 indefinitely, 21.5 per year. And the guarantees assume two things with this particular design. It assumes the guaranteed rate of 4% and the term rider we have attached, it assumes the maximum charge for it as well. So we stripped it down, made it worst, worst, worst case scenario. Did that on purpose. So here's what I'm interested in. So we pulled all this income out. Like what's, what's the end result, Steve? Like how much did I pay in? How much did I pull out? Did this make sense considering it's a life insurance product? Meaning if I died, the net death benefit was paid out to my beneficiaries, income tax free. But at its core, the cash value is a safe, liquid, tax-free area to position money. We took withdrawals up to our cost basis and then loaned out the rest, keeping the tax benefits intact. If I try to pull out 36 and it produced closer to the guarantees, and then I trigger a lapse, that would be one, one example of how a taxable event could occur, which of course I'd encourage you to consult with a CPA or tax attorney because I am not one. <laughs> Here's what I was in, interested in. On the guarantees, here's what we got. Guaranteed values. Total input, $350,000. That's the total amount of money I paid in. Then we took policy withdrawals, withdrawals of 350. I paid in 350, withdrew up to my cost basis, and then began to loan out the rest. Now these loans, total of 295, interest had accrued, the loan balance accrued, we assume zero payments apply to that loan balance, nothing. The reason why is if we're taking income out, it would be counterproductive to start making payments toward the loan balance when I'm taking income, like it doesn't, doesn't make sense. So total income during retirement, i make this a little bit smaller. Made it too big. There we go. Income during retirement, $645,000. Total, paid in 350. Everything above what I paid in was another 295, so approximately 300 grand. Now, conservative dividend, what do I got? Total, 720. You'll find a consistency. This is the same company, product, all that good stuff. Paid in 350. The withdrawals stopped at 350 because if I take a withdrawal, a transaction withdrawal, not a policy loan, and pull out more than what I've paid in, that's when taxes can occur. Obviously, we don't want that. So we withdrew up to our cost basis, and then the rest came out in loans. You'll see that consistent across the board. And then just here, income during retirement, based off the guarantees, 645, 720, 885, so realistically, somewhere in that neighborhood, if you wanna go more conservative, lean closer to that, great way to set expectations. If you really wanna go as conservative, conservative as possible, bank on this because it's always done better than that, but that's guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed is guaranteed as long as I made those payments into the policy. And then aggressive, if things go very well or continue to do what they're doing today, I'll see strong results. No, this is a lot of info. It's interesting stuff when I look at how I can actually 
turn around and pull money out on the back end with a cash value life insurance policy, but it's good to look at. As always, I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out anytime, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.